I'm Ed. And I'm Anna. We run a wedding business from Ed's family's 15th century chateau near Bordeaux. On this channel, you'll get to see what our life is like while discovering Bordeaux, surrounding area, and what the wine world has to offer. Hi everyone, so we're Hello. here with Billy. Ed is driving, someone has to. We fix the wing mirror. We have little Emma, little Ernest, and Gwen. And we're going to Saint Emilion for the day and a bit of wine tasting. We all love it here. And that's it. Gwen is saying this is a nicer area than Mayenne. I'm joking, <laughs> she didn't say that. I not true. It's different. <laughs> yeah, it's, I'm joking. I'm joking. It's, not, it's definitely not true. I'm only messing about. So we have some beautiful chateaus here and obviously impeccable and immaculate vines. Fonplegade. Is that it? So this is uh, Chateau de la Gaffelière. This one here? Yeah, and I What's went that? to school yeah. with the daughter of the Comte de Malais. Oh wow. I know. Really she a good nice. friend? Uh, she was, but then she went to study in Paris and went abroad, so we've oh. lost contact. Oh. Chateau Angelus on the hill. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's so terraces and caves. We have arrived. We have little Emma in her pushchair. We have little Ernest. And we're on our way to explore. So this time we're coming in through the bottom of Santa Million instead of the top like we did last time. This is a nice wine cave. Well, they sell wine. This is a nice restaurant, Old Trois Fontaine, in summer. It's really cool. Too. Also, these are just like the, the empty ones, so it looks good, and you can see what they look like. It's wine o'clock. Okay, guys, we need to film us, the, the four of us tonight, saying it's wine o'clock because we'll be having a glass of wine. Love that. Utrieti is a nice fish restaurant, pretty cute. It's very, very picturesque here. Look at this. Another wine shop. Another wine shop. You get the message here. Okay, these are some delicious macaroons. It's closed now because it's lunchtime. And we're gonna come another time and try macaroons. And now we come in 
somewhere else which is beautiful it's the lavoir which is where they used to wash the clothes back in the day so we're going to walk the lavoir i'm just gonna have a look at the lavoir There at the top we have La Tour du Roi. You want to smell it? No. No? It's so cute. Oh, a dinosaur. Muddy puddles. Muddy puddles. I think this is a nice muddy puddle, but. I don't think we're, we're ready. We can't jump there, but it's so cute, isn't it? Shall we go around and find Emma? No. No? At lunch here, nice pizza. We're doing a bit of beer tasting, Anna. Yeah. Are you not, guys? We're in wine region drinking beer. Well, you have to. We have to support every sector. Poor beer, guys. <laughs> this looks delicious. Vienna. Can I not? Hello, Tata? No. Is that Tata who's going to be Bibi Tata? Oui. How beautiful is this little dog? This is the entrance to the monolithic church. And it's closed now, but it's going to be open soon. And you go in this way. So, can't wait to, to go again. Last time I went, it was seven years ago. Petit coeur? Oh no! That's why I wanted to come like this way. Right?
Thank you. So we're taking a shortcut, but after there's a really steep beat. Because we're trying to go at the top of the church. Oh, they can do it here. This is a really nice restaurant, Glenn. Don't worry about it. Ernest coming through. I've got to move twice. I know. Princess Emma. And now Princess Emma going up. <laughs> yes. Well, we tried, but then we didn't end up. Yeah. Do you remember Leon? Yeah. Oh, Leon. Yeah. Oh, Leon. Oh, Leon. Oh yeah, we, we went in last time. It's a shame. So we're just down there. Now we're up here. It, we should just maybe like pretty much okay. if we win the lottery we get a few hectares. How long do you reckon it would take before you get your money back? On one oh god. Of well if you've got ten thousand bottles maybe we'll say yeah in a year. Mm -hmm. Ten thousand. So if you wanted to make it back in a year you'd have to charge hundred euros a bottle. Oh that'd be difficult. So five years, twenty euros a bottle is easy, yeah. five years. Alright, it's not yeah. too bad then. Look at this Shea over here. So Shea is where they make the wine. Alright, okay. Look at that. That is spectacular. And they're all going for like modern, mixing old and new. Yeah. La grâce de Dieu de des prières. Look how tiny the wine is. Are they all called chateaux? When you make a wine, you automatically get the appellation chateau? No. Or it be, uh, well, Petrus. Petrus isn't. So you can do a brand. All depends. A chateau they copied is. Our game. No, they you did. copied them, Ed. No, actually, that is brand new, but yeah, they, uh, well, you copied the other gates that were at the chateau. Yeah, you did. So you couldn't have. Yeah, you couldn't have it. So Gwen was asking whether uh, you automatically get called a chateau if you make wine. Well, no, it's the plot of land that has the name. Okay. what it is called so depending what you make and you have chateaus that obviously have the building but they're called clos because they only have three walls 
and then you have others we just have a brand like Petrus you can choose but the plot of land determines what gets called what because there's so many chateaus in the area like every everywhere seems to be chateau 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 mm -hmm. chateau they must have built them like crazy in the well, day. There's, there's so many chateau Bellevue in Bordeaux mm. yeah yeah and it's like all depends where you are there's like Chateau Lagos that would is yeah there is Chateau Lagos, Chateau de Lagos and depending the area there's Chateau Lagos in Medoc and we're in the closer to Bordeaux, so entre deux mer. But same name. It's bloody confusing. Do people ever get oh yeah go to the wrong chateau when they, they do to come to yours? They do actually. Some people really get it wrong and put the village is Lagos. There is also a village. I know it's like, big but it ain't a village. Yeah. It is coming up, uh, Cheval Blanc. Mm -hmm. This one. Mm -hmm. And they have an amazing new chef. Pretty fancy. I think on the left is Pomerol. Soon. Mm -hmm. Left is Pomerol, and the right is Santa Maria. Well, mm -hmm. Where those trees are, that's So the other wine we opened the other day that was called guys, La Tour du Plan Fijac, there it is the chateau. So we're back at Valerie's and Michael. wearing masks and we've all been tested so we know everyone is okay you say hello Emma C'est notre façon de stocker, tu vois. Euh, euh, Ça me fait un petit mal, ouais. Mmh. Non. <rire> <rire> So, we we'll look at it. Yeah. You see the color. Yeah. You see the, the lines of alcohol when yeah. you swirl it around. You've got legs. Yeah. Uh, on your nose. I have to put my nose right in because it's been broken. <laughs> That's it. So oh. Yeah, smelling odors. And then, like I showed you the other day, just Wait. bring some air in there. Let it breathe. And then it's going to give you all the fruits mm. and all the flavors. Mm. Wow. That's nice. Mm. You won't like it, Anna. No. Oh, you you're, you're like right then. Pass it over. <laughs> Stop having <laughs> it. Then. Yeah, it's okay. Beautiful on the nose. 100% Merlot. Really nice. What are you doing? Ça, Malbec. 
hundred percent Malbec. Two thousand twenty. Two thousand twenty. So an amazing vintage. I'm just gonna do a little twirl. Look at those colors. Nice. Alors ça, en fait, enfin c'est quatre vingt dix pour cent Malbec et dix pour cent Merlot. Tu aimes beaucoup Malbec. Oui, mais j'aime avec parce que grâce à toi. Is it more like purple? Parce que c'est purple. Purple, yes. Nice. So this, like, Malbec. Est-ce que tu vois la différence? C'est normalement c'est plus épicé et ça a un style, c'est un autre style. Yeah, it is. Wow, that's a, that's a nice delivery. Yeah, just for tonight. Just for tonight. You guys are thirsty. It's wine o'clock. Wine o'clock, for sure wine o'clock. How are we going to get it in there? Does it go underneath it? Yeah. Yeah. 